Hi, uh, in this video I want to show you how you can transfer files between an Android smartphone and a computer running Debian and how you can do so uh, on the command line by using the terminal. So uh, I found this article on Debian Wiki that explains uh, uh, quite a few things like it shows you a few methods of how, how to do this uh, like specifically on in this command line section it lists three methods and uh, I'm gonna going, be going over this second one in this video. So what you need to do first uh, in order to uh, get this to work is you need to install a package called uh, jmtpfs uh, so you need to run sudo apt install jmtpfs and that's going to install the package. Uh, here I'm going to show you the information page for it. So now you can go ahead and, and uh, connect your smartphone to your computer with a USB cable. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to plug it in. So here you can see that uh, once I plugged in the cable, uh, this charging the device via USB uh, notification appeared on the screen. Uh, so if I tap it, then I can enable file transfer over here. So that's what I'm going to do. And now um, if I go back to the computer, I can type in JMTP MTPFS and um, I think if I just run it without anything, yeah, it, it will list the device, but actually the, the actual option is dash L. So that will list the connected devices. And you can see that my, uh, um, my smartphone was recognized there. Um, uh, so uh, that is working. You can also just as a kind of as an additional point, if you, for some reason can't see this notification like for example if you have it uh, maybe disabled or something like that um, then you can uh, you can also uh, go into settings and uh, then connected devices USB and you get uh, to the same screen. So that's two ways to uh, to enable that file transfer. Like if I disconnect the, the phone now uh, and then reconnect it, it will, uh, it will get disabled. So you always have to tap file transfer uh, manually to allow the file transfer to happen. Um, so that's that. Um, so let's see. So I have my phone connected. So now I can mount it. So uh, in order in order to mount your Android device, you first need to create a mount point, a directory where you will be uh, mounting it to. And uh, I created uh, a directory called uh, Home uh, MMT Android, and uh, right now it's empty. But if I run uh, JMTP fs and then uh, the name of that directory that will mount uh, the device to that uh, to that directory so now if i list the contents you can see that uh, internal shared storage uh, folder appeared there and if i go in in there uh, everything uh, the entire contents of my phone uh, can be seen there so um so yeah, this is very convenient. You can simply transfer the files to and from your uh, your device uh, by using uh, the terminal. Let's just um, I don't know. Um, I, I guess just we'll just create uh, like a test uh, file or something. This is a test file. Um, yeah, and um, let's just uh, for example. Uh, copy it to to my phone. MMT uh, Android 
internal shared storage and let's put it in like document for example uh, so press enter and uh, if I list the contents of that uh, documents folder now you can see that uh, there is a the text test.txt file there so now if I go back to my phone and uh, open the files app uh, for example and uh, let's navigate to that documents folder here it is the text file and uh, yeah I have uh, an app installed that can open it and uh, let's do that so now you can see that that file uh, has, has been transferred successfully so this is very simple and uh, very convenient I will just go ahead and delete that file so that uh, it's not there because I don't need that so now if I list it again the file is deleted so everything is working uh, as expected now to unmount uh, the, the device you need to use another command which is also mentioned in this article it, it, it's this one fuser mount dash u and then uh, the path to your uh, um, to your uh, to your mount point where you mounted the android device to so uh, that was mnt android and now if i press enter it unmounts the device and um, and yeah, like uh, if I list out the contents of the folder again, so now it's unmounted. Uh, so as you can see, this is uh, pretty easy and simple, and this is pretty much it. This is, this is what I wanted to cover in this video, just to show you how you can easily transfer files between your Android device and your um, Debian machine. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video valuable and that it helps you set things up conveniently so you can uh, transfer your files easily. And, um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.